All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. Welcome to uh, my very first episode of Razor Sharp. Welcome to episode one. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about goaltender Uko Pekka Lukanen. Uh, unless he's moved, uh, he probably will be the backup for Devin Levi, although... They got Dustin Tukarski. I don't know if he's going to be up uh, backing up Devin Levi. Uh, he was here before, so welcome back, Dustin Tukarski. But I think uh, Dustin Tukarski and Cooley uh, go to the AHL. I think it's going to be Uko Pekka Lukanen and Devin Levi. Uh, who are handling the goaltending duties up here uh, in Buffalo, unless they keep three goalies up here. Because we have Leenan in, who's probably going to go uh, down to Rochester as well. We got him in the second round last year. But um, Uko Pekka is, uh, he was born March 9th, 1999. He's 24 years old from Espoo, Finland. He's six foot five. Uh, 212 pounds uh, he's a left handed goaltender catches left uh, he was drafted I believe in the third round 54th overall uh, of the 2017 uh, NHL draft by the Buffalo Sabres um, so guys I liked I like the pick when uh, they made it. I still like Uko Pekka Lukanen, but unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be the starter for the Buffalo Sabres uh, unless uh, unless they're going to evenly split time, unless they're going to let um, Eli learn a little bit behind Uko this year and make Uko Pekka Lukanen the starter. Um, I just, I don't see that. I think Devin Levi, from what he's shown last year with the, in the few games that he played, I mean, hell, he beat the Rangers twice, you know. Uh, he's He can handle the pressure of being our starting goaltender. Uh, I do think that uh, Uko Pekka Lukanen will back him up, and uh, it's going to be fun uh, to see, you know, Lukanen can came here, like I said, in the 2017 NHL draft. He was 54th overall. Um, and he was with the uh, Rochester Americans in 2002. And uh, it, it's going to be fun to see what they do uh, if they put him down uh, in Rochester. But um, last year... Uko Pekka Lukanen played 33 games. He was 17 wins, 11 losses, 4 overtime losses. He had a 3.61 goals against average and a .892 save percentage. And in his career for the Buffalo Sabres, he's played 46 games. He has 20 wins, 19 losses, 6 overtime losses. Has a 3.47 goals against average and a .898. Uh, save percentage so I mean they're not good numbers they're not bad numbers but they're not good numbers they're not NHL starting goaltender numbers so um, I do think that uh, Devin Levi will be the starting goaltender to start uh, this season I think they're going to play him a majority of the games I think he gets 54 50 to 60 games uh, for Devin Levi. Uh, that's what a true number one goalie gets. But I think Uko Pekka Lukanen is going to play a fair amount of games too. If, if Devin Levi plays 60, then um, Uko Pekka Lukanen probably plays 22. Um, and if... Uh, uh, Devin Levi only plays 50, then Uko Pekka Lukanen will probably play 32, um, depending, and knock on wood, that no, none of our goalies get injured. Uh, that was our problem last year. 
Uh, we had Comrie and Jared at one point. We had Luke and then Jared. We had, um, uh, there was another one in, oh, yeah, Comrie, Luke and then Anderson was injured. Uh, you know, um, and, and we had other players on the roster injured. But uh, hopefully this year uh, our goalies can stay healthy. And uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing, you know, on paper. Uh, we have a stacked roster. Kevin Adams did a good job in free agency. Um, and I can't wait uh, to see this team in full swing. But, uh, okay, it says Uko Pekalukanen was a second-round pick, 54th overall. Okay, I thought he was at the... So he was a second-round pick, um, 54th overall. Uh, and that kid we drafted last year, Leighton Leinenen, uh, he was a 33rd overall pick. Remember, Kevin Adams traded up uh, right after the first round to get the first pick of the second round. Um, and he took that goalie, um, so, um, I, I'm happy with, uh, if we do go, um, with Lukanen and Levi, um, uh, I wouldn't mind that combination, uh, I do think they, uh, keep Tokarski, you know, close, uh, just in case, you know, one of them struggles, uh, they can bring Tukarski in and uh, because with Devin Levi it's going to be a learning curve you know he's going to have his ups and, ups and downs he's a kid okay uh, but uh, Uko Pekalukanen is also still a kid he's 24 years old um, but I mean Uko Pekalukanen's had had time to uh, prove himself I think he's going to be I think he could be a good backup for the Buffalo Sabres. I think they need to build a uh, Devin Levi, Uko Pekalukanen, you know, one-two goal, goalie tandem in Buffalo. Uh, just like it was Hashik and Rollison, then Hashik and Shields, you know, uh, and then Shields and Rollison, Rollison and Shields, you know, stuff like that. And then it was uh, Miller and Biron there for a little bit. Let since these two are still young and can develop together, let's have a Devin Levi Uko Pekalukanen uh, goalie tandem here in Buffalo. Uh, I won't mind if if uh, Lukanen is the backup to um, Devin Levi. I do think though that uh, you got to start Devin Levi, especially. In the first game, we're playing the Rangers. Devin Levi beat him twice. He's undefeated against the New York Rangers, uh, two and zero. Uh, you got to play Devin Levi in that game, uh, game one, and then uh, game two against the Islanders as well. I think uh, you got to go with with uh, Levi. But uh, I I'm liking, like I said, I'm liking uh, what. Uh, what we um, have on paper so far. We'll see what it turns into in the season. But uh, I'm going to do, be doing more of these Razor Sharp uh, episodes. This is going to be a full season thing. Uh, this is just the first episode. Uh, and I'm going to be focusing on different players. Kind of like the player profile. Uh, series that I do but this this is different um, this goes you know just talks about um, certain, uh, different players and gets into a little bit of their career just like I did with uh, uh, Uko Pekka looking in but guys you know like I said we need to build the Devin Levi Uko Pekka looking in uh, tandem uh, and keep them together and keep them around for a long time here in Buffalo uh, do we bring in a veteran goalie possibly Kevin Adams may trade for one but he did sign a veteran goalie in Dustin Tukarski uh, Tukarski was here before I know a lot of people aren't happy with uh, with 
him coming back. I I don't mind Tukarski, uh being back in Buffalo, especially because our goaltenders are so young. Um, Tukarski might be able to give them that veteran uh, talk and uh, just that veteran presence might help them uh, become better goalies and uh, uh, help them because they, they know that uh, if they struggle or have a bad game, they're going to put Tukarski in there. Um, but I do still think that uh, we do need a, a veteran goalie. Uh, I'm fine with Tukarski, like I said. We lost Malcolm Subban to the St. Louis Blues, so uh, good luck with the St. Louis Blues, Malcolm Subban, you know, and thank you uh, for being a part of this organization. Thank you for being a part of the Rochester Americans, and uh, you're going to do good over in, over in that St. Louis Blues organization. Uh, I know you will. Uh, but guys... I hope you enjoyed, uh, I hope you enjoy these, uh, episodes of Razor Sharp that I'm going to be doing throughout the NHL hockey season for the Buffalo Sabres. Um, this is kind of a test, a test episode. This is just episode one, but, uh, tonight I picked, uh, this episode to be about Uko Pekalukanen, uh, just because I haven't done a video on him, you know, uh. I did a player profile on Devin Levi. He was my first uh, player profile episode that I did. So uh, that was after he was traded to Buffalo. But uh, and and if we move Lukanen for say like a power forward, or something, I wouldn't mind moving Lukanen. But I think there's other pieces uh, we should move before Lukanen, and we could move such as uh, Olafson such as Yoki Haru, such as uh, if, if we didn't release him already, Cal Clegg. Um, we could, uh, there's, there's pieces we can move, you know. Uh, we need grit, we need toughness. Uh, we do need that. Uh, one more, just one more big, tough uh, power forward, uh, kind of like Jordan Greenway and Riley Stillman. Although Stillman's a defenseman, but uh, someone who's going to come in and say, you're not going to push us around, you know, and uh, I think that's why we got Connor Clifton as well. You know, he can throw down. Uh, so can Eric Johnson. Uh, but it should be fun. Uh, it should be interesting. And I can't wait uh, till this season starts. And I can't wait. Uh, to see this Buffalo Sabres team take the ice uh, against the New York Rangers uh, in the first game of the season. And the preseason schedule is out. I will be doing a video on that as well. But guys, I wanted to make my first episode of Razor Sharp. That's what this is called. Um, where I take a look at certain players on this Buffalo Sabres team. And uh, kind of get a little in depth and uh, about them and their career. Uh, but Uko Pekalukanen has only played for one team his whole NHL career. He was drafted by the Buffalo Sabres in the second round, 54th overall. Uh, and Tobias Leinen was drafted in the second round as well. So we got two goalies that we drafted in the second round. Uh, now we got Scott Ratzlaff, uh, who we drafted in the fifth round. This kid is going to be something special, but I will get on and get into that a little bit later uh, in a different, separate video. Uh, but I'm hoping that our goaltending tandem, at least to start the season, is Devin Levi, our, our starting goalie, Uko Pekka in the backup, and... A just in case, maybe Dustin Tukarski, you know, uh, in, as an emergency in case we need him. Uh, so, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Razor Sharp. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes of Razor Sharp. You know, this is where I take a, take a closer look at uh, different players on the team. And uh, kind of like the player profile, but uh, it's a little different. But like I said, comment, like, subscribe. Go Sabres. And I can't wait for the season to start. Uh, our first regular season game is at home against the New York Rangers. Uh, stay tuned for my video on that as well. And uh, we'll see who's who makes this team. We already know the first line is going to be Tuck, uh, Tage Thompson, and uh, Jeff Skinner. We already know that. Skinner, Thompson, Tuck is going to be the first line, but we'll get into that uh, in another video. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Razor Sharp. Guys, go Sabres, and until my next video, I'm out of here.